Hey, this is Greg Young, and we're going to continue along with our walkthrough series on Mighty Moose, the continuous test runner. Now, generally with continuous test runners, you don't run your own tests manually. The reason we don't run them manually is because I can at any given point in time just start typing in some code, and when I save, the continuous test runner will actually figure out which tests need to be run, and it will run them for me. However, Mighty Moose does have an entire manual test runner built into it. And this is important because it also has a manual mode where if I were to go into our configuration, I can actually go through here and I can select Manual Moose. Manual Moose is basically just like any other test runner. It will not do any of this kind of build or test automation associated with it. Now, it's also important to remember that Everything I'm showing you right here is also available completely open source, including the Visual Studio integration, inside of autotest.net. So, what we can do, for instance, I have a test here. I can right click on this and go to continuous tests and I can run tests. What this will do is you'll notice it immediately started running my tests. It did not go through and build. The reason why it did not go through and build is because I am currently running in Mighty Moose mode. If you are running in Mighty Moose mode, it, running a test manually will always run the test as it was run inside of your last test run that it actually did. Now, generally speaking, we do not right click in order to run tests when we're in manual mode. Instead, we'll use key sequences. The main key sequence that you want to use is Control Shift Y and U. If I do Control Shift Y U and I'm on a test, it will run the test that I'm on in the IDE. If I were, for instance, to do it on a fixture name, it would do the fixture. If I'm on a namespace name, as in this case, it will go through and it will run all of the tests in that given namespace. I can also come over to the Solution Explorer and I could, for instance, right click on fojin.ddd, in which case it's not going to build in this case and it will just run all of the tests that are currently in test.fojin.ddd as the assembly. Going along with this, if I'm in manual mode, this will, like all the other test tools, whether we're talking about the manual runner in ReSharper or testdriven.net or any of these other tools, it will actually build before it goes through and does the manual run. Now there are, however, some other interesting bits about our manual running. One of the interesting bits about manual running is I can be in a piece of code and I can either right click and go to continuous tests and I can run related tests, which I believe we're the only runner that actually supports as of this point, or I can hit control shift Y and R. It will basically run the tests that are related to the code that I'm in. Now, when we get through to the workflows video, this opens up a really interesting possibility for workflows when we're running in manual mode, because basically I can flip back and forth between control shift Y U when I'm sitting in a test. And then when I'm working in code inside of my TDD cycle, I can hit my control shift Y R and it will actually run the related tests. It opens up a very quick cycle between the two pieces of code. And of course, control shift F six is your friend in visual studio for moving back and forth between those two pieces of code. Now there's other things that we can do. Another one that we can do is we can come through and we can rerun our last manual run. Our rerun of last manual run is basically just going to rerun whatever we happened to do last time. If, for instance, I were going to be in a case where I was getting a failure, and this doesn't work that well because I'm actually in Mighty Moose right now, so I'll have to let it fail. I could do my Control Shift Y R. and I see that I've got my broken tests. Here, I could do my last manual run and continue doing my last manual run over and over again. But again, we'll talk more about this when we start getting into the video with the different kinds of workflows and how different people actually work because the manual mode workflow can be a very effective workflow. Now, of course, like all the other test runners, we also support the ability to come in here and either right click and debug tests, or you can just do Control Shift Y and D. 
Now, when I do a control shift Y and D, you'll notice that it automatically sets the breakpoint for me. This is the same as when we covered going through the info window. So generally speaking, we will not actually have you setting the breakpoints. It will go through and set that breakpoint for you. So let's stop our debug session here. And this has just been a quick run through of the manual testing support that is in Mighty Moose. And it's important to remember that a lot of the support we've aren't just seen is already built into autotest.net, including the Visual Studio integration. And you can grab autotest.net, which is 100% open source, on our GitHub for continuous tests. Mighty Moose is available as well at continuoustest.com. Thanks.